Greetings, Nephilim, and welcome to the Patch 260 Overview. Today, we're going to talk about the new features and additions coming to both Reaper of Souls and the Ultimate Evil Edition of Diablo 3. Our latest hero class is raring to go, so let's not keep him waiting. A completely new feature is coming in the form of Challenge Rift. A special type of Nephilim Rift, Challenge Rifts offer the unique experience to test drive another player's build and gear. Each week, a new Challenge Rift will be made available. A completely static experience, they offer a very different way to play Diablo 3, testing your memory and game mastery to rightfully claim your spot at the top of the leaderboards. Even if you're not the competing type, you can claim a bundle of loot once a week by simply beating the original runner's time. If you'd like more information, be sure to check our other video on Challenge Rifts for the full details. The Shrouded Moors have long since been abandoned by any civilized inhabitant. Ferocious beasts scavenge whatever prey they find, and a long-forgotten evil lurks below the fetid swamps. Will you thwart the brutal cultists and twisted horrors they've created? Explore the Shrouded Moors in the Temple of the Firstborn in Act 2, now available in Adventure Mode. After the battle between the Nephilim and Diablo in the High Heavens, unintended consequences have caused explorable tears to appear across the skies. These realms of fate stitch together the various experiences of the Nephilim heroes in seamless transition, resulting in completely variable environments and, most importantly, new places to slay monsters and get loot. <laughs> Four new realms of fate are available in Act 4 Adventure Mode, with plenty of new bounties for the intrepid adventurer to complete. One more thing, Nephilim. The Necromancer class is ready to join the fight for Sanctuary survival. The Rise of the Necromancer pack is now available for purchase, directly through a new store interface in the Diablo client. The Necromancer is a delightfully dark new addition to the Diablo 3 family and features spells that master the elements of blood, bone, and decay. Explore the campaign with all new dialogue or jump into adventure mode and gear yourself out with dozens of new legendary items and four new class sets. In addition, the Rise of the Necromancer pack also includes new cosmetics, including wings, a pet, a pennant, and new banner designs. It also includes two new character slots and two more stash tabs, so you'll have plenty of room to add this Commander of the Dead to your collection. Patch 260 and the Necromancer pack are available now. For more information about the latest patch or the Rise of the Necromancer pack, head over to Diablo3.com to view our patch notes and blogs with all the details. That's all we have for you today, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Sanctuary.